you in the race uh, what do you want to do differently being governor of the state I'm in the race because I believe that I have a lot to offer members I have a passion for the state I'm a second generation PDP woman and I have the fear of God and the love of God and the sense of selfless service to offer to another state yeah, please, sorry. Mike. Uh, my name is Michael Dian Pastor, Nigerian pilot. Uh, but, um, <clears throat> there are lots of heavyweights in quotes in the race for PDP tickets. In fact, you have very credible aspirants in the race for the party tickets. In the history of this party, never for once as a woman ever won the ticket of the party to contest for any governorship. What do you think it hope? Is it because you came from the former background that you're going to get a ticket? Yes, if we're talking about heavyweights, I would believe that if I put on the scales, I'm probably heavier than anyone else. Um, as I said, I have a lot to offer. I have a passion for service, selfless and godly service. And I believe I stand out because, as I said, I have the DNA of PDP in my system. I'm a poor party woman from inception. And um, yes, New things are happening. The world is changing. You see women coming up in different places. Anambra State already has two female senators, uh, which is unknown in the rest of Nigeria. It hasn't been done yet. So Anambra, we're special, we're innovative, and we're daring. This time it will be different, and we'll see the difference in women can make it. My name is Emmanuel from New Agency of Nigeria. Anambra State is known for the skills within the people. How do you intend to uh, harmonize this for the development of the state? Anambra State is known for? Skills, skills, oh, skills. the skills of the people, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Anambra State, I'm glad that you said that because as I said, we're special people. We're known for industry. We're known for hard work. We're known for innovation. Anambra State is actually the industrial hub. We have the Olicha and Neo Yorker access in Anambra State. And so it's a matter of harnessing what we already have in existence so that it can achieve, we can achieve our full, optimum, best that we can and shine forth like the light of the nation that we are. Okay, my name is Abdurrahman Zakaria. I write for Blueprint Newspapers. What plans do you have for women and youths in Anambra State? Uh, the best plans that they are. It's uh, the person who wears the shoes who knows exactly where they came. As a woman and as a mother, uh, I believe that I'm actually in a better uh, position to know what's best, not just for the women and for the children, but for the men, uh, for the men as well. Because I'm also a wife and a daughter and a sister. Um, first of all, I think the most important thing is education. We need to educate our children. We need to have our children have affordable and qualitative education. That's the most important thing. That way we're training uh, our people for the next generation and for the generations to come. You know, the world is moving on. Um, so it's not even about us moving along with them, but us catching up first and then moving on. We need to harness our women. Our women are strong women in Anambra State. As I said, we have two senators um, out of three in Anambra State, harness our women in terms of uh, having clusters, have industrial clusters, have SMEs. That's actually my niche. I did serve as, um, as 
special assistant to our president, Abbasanjo, on small and medium enterprises uh, in his first tenure. So look out for what Anambra is going to be within the next few years. Yes, sir. My, my, my question is um, some political, uh, some aspirants are said to have uh, powerful go political godfathers or godmothers. In your own case, do you have uh, political godfathers or mothers behind you in this race so that you, they will help you to please the party ticket? Yes, I do actually. I have, I have the greatest godfather that can be. He's led me stretch from heaven down to the earth. In fact, the earth is a full stool. So yes, I have my political godfather. I'm in this with my God. And you know, basically with politics, for me it's not a game. I said it's a passion. I grew up in politics. Um, I come from a political family. And I know that you don't go on such a journey without God. So I have the most time with me and I believe that since I have him, I'm going to Any other question? Thank you. Thank you.